at Motel 6. Clown makeup <laughs> smeared all over my bosom. I was alone. The Chinese acrobats, the strong man, the little people moved on to the next town. Oh, my God! <laughs> a white rose is a rose you can trust. And making it the centerpiece is appropriate because you're my centerpiece. You know, the piece that supersedes all other pieces. Are you still drunk? Only with love. <laughs> oh, it's my grandmother. Hi, Grammy. Yeah, it's gonna be a June wedding. Excuse me. That's a terrible thing to say, Grammy. Besides, I said June, not Jew. <laughs> Okay, what have you done? Beg your pardon? That sweet, naive hick you're marrying might buy this loving, cooperative attitude, but not your mommy. Hey, can a fella just be excited about floral centerpieces? A gay fella. <laughs> you're feeling guilty about something. What is it? Nothing. I've got nothing to feel guilty about. I'm not really sure what I did. So, a drunken escapade? Is there another kind of escapade? <laughs> Whatever you do, don't tell Chelsea about it. Confession may be good for this soul, but it's a hot lead enema to a marriage. Oh, I know, but I've got these freaky memory flashes and I feel so guilty. Trust me, those memories will fade with time. How do you know? Let me tell you a story. Many years ago, when I was married to your second stepfather. The Carpet King? Well, I called him that. It wasn't his occupation. <laughs> anyway, he was away on business, and you and your brother were in summer camp, or somewhere. <laughs> and I, well, I was lonely, bored, and the circus was in town. And I woke up in that Motel 6. Clown makeup <laughs> smeared all over my bosom. I was alone. The Chinese acrobats, the strong man, the little people moved on to the next town. Oh, my God! What did you do then? What could I do? I showered, plucked the sequins from my hoo-hoo, <laughs> held my head up, got on with my life. And you never told the carpet king? No, of course not. I loved him too much. Your second stepfather was the third best thing that ever happened to me. Behind me and Alan? Sure. <laughs> men, men, manly men.